Hello! Welcome to Anime Mystics. I'm Roman, and tonight I am watching Chiyocha no Sugakuro Episode 9. So we had three different stories in the last episode. Uh, the first one, uh, Chiyo Manana were walking to school and ended up meeting with uh, Yuki, um, the track star. And yes, I had to look her name up before this uh, for this video. <laughs> um, the only thing for them was that uh, Yuki was in her track outfit, uh, which is like barely covering anything. It like comes up to uh, like chest height for the top and like barely covers the bottom. Uh, and she's going to school in this, so they're pretty embarrassed to be walking around with her because, you know, people are looking at her. Um, Manana tries to get her to see that, you know, it's kind of embarrassing by going into, uh, like a little convenience store with her and, uh, have everybody look at her and hopefully she realizes, okay, everybody's staring at me because of the way I'm dressed, so maybe I should change. Uh, but she doesn't really... It doesn't really phase her at all. So Manana is like, okay, well, maybe I'll just be more... I'm just gonna tell her. <laughs> and, um... Tells her, you know, because of the way you're dressed, everybody is looking at you. And she just kind of got excited about it because she said it felt like she was at a track meet and uh you know she wears that during her meet so everybody's watching so she's not like embarrassed by people looking at her when she's wearing that um so manana basically just i guess for a little bit at least gives up on it and chio who went into the store as well came back out wearing her tennis club outfit or it was something else it's something tennis club light tennis or something like that i don't know but um she comes out wearing her tennis outfit and manana thinks she's doing it because she wants to kind of help her feel less embarrassed or something uh, there were ulterior motives behind what she was doing, though, uh, which Manana picked up on, and then decided that it would be a good idea to have Yuki run the rest of the way to school, so that Chio is the only one there dressed in their club outfit. Um, earlier, she had asked Yuki what her best um, event was. And she said the 1500 meter. So when they got to a certain point, she kind of goes up to Yuki and says, you know, we're about 1500 meters away from the school at this point. Maybe we sh you should run the rest of the way. <laughs> Chio is trying to get her not to do that because uh, she doesn't want to be embarrassed by wearing her tennis outfit, which I don't understand why. It's just it it would almost be like her school uniform only it's a different color and just it doesn't look bad at all so I don't know why she's feeling like she would be embarrassed wearing that but she I guess does so she doesn't want Yuki to go off running but Manana get, gets her to end up ends up getting her to run all the way to school and uh, Chio is now feeling embarrassed because she's in her tennis outfit and she's trying to get Manana to let her go and change, but she's not having that. <laughs> um, that's where that ends. The second part, again, Chio and Manana are walking to school. And Chio is trying to talk to her about this new game that she's been playing. Um, and on the way, they end up stopping by these two buildings where there's like an alley so she's thinking oh 
I should point out that Manana was uh, kind of upset because she's been gaining some weight, so she's trying to look up diets. Um, and they end up running into that guy from episode two, I believe it was. The guy that was in the track outfit that knew Yuki and was talking to her because she was helping him, you know, train and run. Ran into him. He's a lot thinner now. Um, and they started, uh, him and uh, Manana started talking. And she's trying to get, like, tips on how to lose some weight. And he's, you know, telling her, you know, it's not just about the running, it's about, you know, what you eat and all this and that. While that's going on, Chio thought it would be a good idea to show, to try out one of the moves in the game. Which is, they're able to, if there's like an alley like that, walk up the wall. By using, you know, hands over onto the sides, feet over on the sides, and just kind of walking her way up like kind of like a spider almost so she starts doing that and she makes it up pretty high and stops because she's she wants uh, Manana to see what she's doing but she's too busy talking to this guy um, and then she gets a little nervous because at the height she's at she's like they can see and under like my skirt so maybe I should just keep going and she just starts keep she just starts going back up uh, almost gets seen by somebody in this office, but ends up grabbing on to, I think it was an air conditioner, and holds on to the side until they go back into the room, close the window, and then she like, sits there for a little bit and then starts back up. Uh, Manana finishes her conversation with that dude. He goes on his way, and she's about to turn to Chio, and she's gone. And then she looks up and sees her climbing the building. And gets really angry. She says she gets really angry at Chio because she's always doing things that are potentially dangerous. And she never seems to think about the consequences. And just does it. So she goes into the building and is trying to go up to the, the roof. Um, she ends up getting there a little after Chio makes it to the top. But Chio is on the other building. Um, and Manana went in on the other, on, into the uh, opposite one. So she yells at Chio and then runs and jumps the gap between the two buildings and is about to, is like getting really angry at Chio, but Chio ends up like, she like starts tearing up and said that she didn't think she was going to make the jump because she's not very athletic. And that's when Manana gets up and looks at the gap and then faints. <laughs> she did not think about how far apart the buildings were. She just she was so mad that she jumped it. So when she saw what it, what it was, like the distance between the two buildings, it, it freaked her out enough to where she fainted. And, uh, yeah, Chio ended up having to carry her down, uh, from the stairs, not down the building, like, she came up. <laughs> um, and that one ended there. And then the final part was more serious. It was dealing with, I don't remember the name of the girl, uh, the one that's always with the teacher in front of the, uh, school when they get, when they get there. Uh, it was about how she joined the disciplinary committee. Basically, she was always doing things that none of the other students liked. Uh, basically, coming up with... Like, she's... As they put it, being a goodie. Two-shoes, basically. Oh, we should all do a study group type thing and stuff like that. And they don't want to do that, so they're like... Whatever. And they just kind of... They'll just walk off or ignore what she's saying or talking about and... It was really getting to her. Uh, he, The teacher that runs the disciplinary committee was the only one who actually took her idea seriously and told her that they need somebody like her on the, the committee. Uh, took a little, little bit of convincing, but she finally agreed to join, and that's how she became a member. Uh, so, yeah. 
that was it. <laughs> that was the last part. Um, I don't know what's going to happen in this episode, so let's just get into it. So the video is going to be located over here, and the link to the reaction is going to be in the description down below. My hair is sticking up in the back. There we go. <laughs> uh, volume. Maybe turn you down a little bit. All right. So we're going to start this episode in three, two, one.